What's happening folks? Welcome back to Street Notes. Today is part two of photographing the MLK Day Parade in Denver with the Ricoh GR3X. So let's get started with the GoPro footage and I'll talk about some of my favorite photos as we go on. These two guys standing chatting here had this old school kind of 90s radio so I started taking some pictures incorporating that and eventually they turned around and spoke to me it turned out they were with a local radio station which was kind of cool that they just sort of bring out this uh, old school uh, tape recorder radio thing and play it in public We're moving. What's going on, my man? God bless you, brother. God bless you, hello, young. Yes, sir. How you doing? We're moving. What about you? Who's this good-looking guy? Right now. <laughs> you guys, tell me when. Quite like this photo, this person's hair just completely obscuring their face. There's something interesting about it, but the background is very cluttered, so I'm not sure if it actually works, and I just kind of randomly was drawn to this one. Here's me focusing on this tape again. Still back focusing on tape. I was trying to pick out just singular interesting things from parades because I think parades are actually quite difficult things to photograph and you've got to look for those sort of uh, peripheral things that might be interesting. And this photo in particular kind of made me realize that one of the benefits of this GR3X with the slightly longer focal length is that it really helps to get these kind of detail shots of things. So I'm cutting off people's arms and heads and just looking for individual gestures and shapes and it's really good for that kind of thing. And strangely, 40 millimeters is not that much longer than my usual 35 millimeters, but with the way that you hold this camera, you kind of hold it out at arm's length, which in theory just gets gives you a little more reach, which it gives the feeling of a longer focal length. And for me, it just allowed me that ability to get really close to things <laughs> closer than I would probably have been otherwise without really having to think twice about it. Yeah, we actually had the, the original tutor from Carl Hashem that we had here. Yeah. And while I'm not exactly sure that this camera is for me, or if it's something that I would invest in, it's definitely on my radar now, because this was the only day that I really got out to shoot with it, like properly, and I took to it quick enough that I got a bunch of shots that I really quite liked with it. And I'm not necessarily saying that means it would be the right camera for other people. I think in most cases, the 28 millimeter GR is the better choice. And I certainly have no plans to stop shooting with my original one, but it has really put this camera on my radar a lot more than it was before. 
I followed these guys carrying this cross throughout this parade. I thought they were a really interesting element within it. It's not something I've really ever seen before and I doubt I will see it very often again. So I'm trying to capitalize on this particular opportunity. And because it's this kind of big heavy thing, there's a lot of gestures and actions around it that are quite interesting. You all know how much it weighs? Yeah, about 75 pounds. So, oh, that's not. I thought you were going to say like 200. <laughs> Looks big. Figured we're all going to the same spot, I'll find yeah. you all again. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely the Civic Center. Here you go. You got the dude behind me. Now further down the line I realised that there's a lot of stuff going on the edge of the parade and I should be getting closer to that. And the first thing, almost the first shot I took when I got there was this one and I love this shot. It's absolutely packed with people and things going on. Everybody's kind of looking similar directions, there's one or two people looking the other way. But it's extremely layered and even though people are overlapping, I don't necessarily think they're overlapping particularly badly. But overall, I just really like this picture. This was after my battery had died, we've skipped probably about 15 minutes of walking and several photos that I really liked, unfortunately. Is there anybody? Can I photograph your dog? How are you? Say hello. You're so cute. Say hi. Oh, you're so fluffy. You're so fluffy. <laughs> now that you're looking right at me. Thank you very much. I want to take a second here to mention that this video was made possible by Lens Rentals. I love their service and they are the largest online rental house in the country. They sent me the GR3X to try out and shoot with and if you're interested in renting the GR3X or any other camera gear, they've got a huge library of stuff. I'm even noticing that they've got the new Leica M11 on there, so that caught my eye. You can follow the link in the description and use the code LIAM15 for 15% off your order. This was the point where the parade ended. People slowly started to disperse. To be honest, they quite quickly started to disperse because the road was packed on the way down and the whole Civic Centre area did not get super busy. So it was almost like people kind of diverted into different directions. And sadly, the light also disappeared at this point of the day. Can I photograph your hat as well? Yeah. Thank you. It is time to start calling it out in a way that we have never before. Say with me, call them out. Call them out. We have to call them out. Don't let them do it. Don't let him use his name and word. Oh, really? 
<laughs> Damn. How you doing, sir? Good to see you. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, Donate man. good. So that was it for the march. I got a few photos that I really liked that day. I took a heck of a lot of photos that just were not good enough, but that's kind of part of my process. I take a lot of bad photos in order to get to a few good ones. And unfortunately, two, maybe even three of my favorite photos of the march didn't make it onto the GoPro footage because the battery died. I changed the battery and then I didn't switch the GoPro back on. So my bad for that one. So anyways, thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Drop me a comment down below, let me know what you thought, let me know the timestamp of your favourite photo if you have one, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.